I like when she's in the house for a while, amen. And I got, I get. To, I'm, I'm pr- thank God I got people that can step up to the plate and deliver, amen. Thank God for that. But today, you know, I don't want y'all to get in a hurry. I don't want y'all to get in a rush. Today, I'm going to lay hands, like I said, on everybody in here. God woke me up at 3 o'clock this morning, amen, and I began, 345 actually. He woke me up and he began to tell me, Ryan, first of all, you're going to rebuke the devourer. You're going to tell them you're going to bind up any attack on their body, any attack that's coming against them, any attack that's coming on this. But most importantly, what you're going to do, you are binding up financial stress, financial duress, and you are bringing forth financial breakthrough in this house today, amen. So So we are going to impart that into you in just a little bit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today I'm preaching a message titled The Photo Shoot of Favor. Amen. The Photo Shoot of Favor. Here's what I want you to do. Before you do anything else, I know you all got your little phones. So I want you to go ahead and click on your phone. And I want you to take you a little selfie right now. Go ahead and you get your phone and you take you a little selfie right now. Let's go. If you, if you don't know, if, if you don't have a phone that takes, you need to get a phone that takes picture because you're a little behind. So get a phone and take your photo self. Get your selfie on here. And what you're going to do, you're going to post it online on Facebook on Instagram, on Twitter, and say, I'm about to receive the photo shoot of favor today. So here we go. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So make your little selfie, amen. Post your little post on Facebook. Post your little post on Twitter. Whatever you want to say. But I'm about to receive a photo shoot of favor up in my life today. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, and amen. Now, I am about to preach this thing. Are y'all ready today? Amen. Stretch your hands out for it toward me. God, we come to you right now. We bless your name. We praise you. We thank you, God, that we lie underneath the covering. We thank you for Psalm 91, that you, that God, that, that, thou, that they may fall at our feet. Thousands may fall. But, God, we will stay stood up. We will stay blessed and highly favored today. God, I direct and I say, God, in the name of Jesus, move in this place like never before, God. Bring down your mighty hand, God. Bring pre- your presence in this place, God. We bless your name, God. I pray today that this message will go forth exactly how you have given it to me not taking anything from nor add anything to but speaking it out exactly how you have given it to me today Lord I pray God you be glorified you be exalted and you be honored above all else God that when we leave this place today we will leave not the same way we came in but we will leave changed in Jesus name we call forth revival throughout all this land in Jesus name open the doors of favor in our life God anoint their ears to hear their eyes to see their minds to understand and most importantly and above all the hearts to receive what you're speaking in this place today that you be lifted up and you be glorified above all else in jesus name and everybody said amen and amen the photo shoot of favor turn with me to the book of judges i know some of you are writing your little message on facebook that's okay go ahead and get it get it get it out real quick get it out it's okay go ahead and turn with me to the book of judges judges chapter 6 1 through 6 judges 6 1 through 6 and then stand to your feet for the reading and reverence of god's word when you're there you don't have your bible today that's okay but i encourage you to bring it next week amen so here we go judges 1 6 judges 6 1 through 6 and it says this and the children of israel did evil in the sight of the lord And the Lord delivered them into the hand of the Midian seven years. And the head of the Midian prevailed against Israel because of the Midianites. The children of Israel made them the dens which are in the mountains and caves and strongholds. And so it was when Israel had sown that the Midianites came up. up. And the Amalekites and the children of the east, even they came up against them. And they encamped against them and destroyed the increase of the earth. Till thou come unto Gaza, and left no sustenance for Israel, neither sheep, nor ox, nor ass. For they came up with their cattle and their tents, and they came as grasshoppers for multitude. For both they and their camels were without number, and they entered into the land to destroy it. And this is the main verse I want to focus on today, in just a little bit. And Israel was greatly impoverished remember that word impoverished which means broke means in poverty it means without and Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites and the children of the Lord of Israel cried out unto the Lord hallelujah turn to preach in just a few minutes on the photo shoot of favor amen turn to your neighbor right now and say this say neighbor a lot of people have the wrong picture of me now turn to the other neighbor and say neighbor you know what a lot of people still got the 
the wrong picture of me. We about to change things. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Someone once said this. They said, the most terrible of our own afflictions is to despise ourselves. The most terrible of our own. I encourage you to take notes today because you're going to want them later on. Someone once said, the most terrible of our own afflictions is to despise ourselves. Many generations before us never even thought about self-esteem. Generations before us never even thought about self-esteem. Many of them were concentrating solely on survival, amen, how to get by the next day. They didn't worry about self-esteem, and they never had a chance to worry about it, and they didn't think like that. Their mindset wasn't like that, and they never even had a chance to do that, to think upon these things like self-esteem. Self-esteem is actually a new phenomenon. For most of human history, the very ideal of self-esteem wasn't even talked about. For most of history, if you go back hundreds and thousands of years, they don't even know what self-esteem was, amen? And they never even understood. It was never explored. It was never thought about. It was never talked about. For most, the pa- for most past societies and past generations, the culture was such that an individual was secondary to the advancement of the whole body. Do you understand? It wasn't about you. It was about the body surviving. It was about nations surviving. It was about tribes surviving. It was about uh, nations and, and, and cultures surviving. So it wasn't about them. It was all about the whole. The highs and the lows were based on the successes or the victories or the failures or the setbacks of your village, your tribe, or your nation. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? And it wasn't about you. It was about the, the, you, you, the, what they based your success on was based on was your tribe successful? successful? Was your nation successful? Was your, was your, co- was your uh, society successful? Was, was your village successful? Books have been around for over 4,000 years. Did y'all know that? Books have been written for over 4,000 years. But it wasn't until the early 1980s that books began written about self-esteem. Now, books have been around for 4,000 years, but the first books about self-esteem weren't written until the early 1980s. These books believed self-esteem could cure crime, self-esteem could deal with addictions, self-esteem could deal with resolving poor education problems, self-esteem could deal with societal issues and societal situations. So this multi billion dollar industry was created around self-esteem around trying to make people feel good about themselves and trying to to build them up but guess what if you look around and you notice it didn't pan out too well it hadn't worked out too well am I right somebody in fact recent studies that I, I, I looked up and I studied this week have shown that actually surprisingly High self-esteem has contributed to aggression. High self-esteem has contributed to, uh, been a key factor for narcissism. High self-esteem is a secret ingredient for elitism and classism. This is because many people love themselves to death. They love themselves to the point they give no care, they give no concern about other people. It's all about me, 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 me. And they don't care about other people and who they hurt because they love themselves so much they've forgotten that we have a commandment to love humanity, amen? That we have a commandment to go into the world and show the love of Christ. They're too busy loving themselves. In a book titled Unworthy, How to Stop Hating Yourself. What a good title. Unworthy. How to Stop Hating Yourself. The author says there is very little connection between self-esteem and reality. (laughs) Sometimes the people we assume that they would hate themselves don't. You would be amazed, overwhelmed, and shocked at how many thieves, murderers, rapists, drug dealers, cheaters, liars actually feel so good about themselves. Yet many people who have gra- are great people, who have great characteristics, who are wonderful people, who do their part to better society, they look at themselves and they can't stand themselves. Oh, I'm preaching today. I'm about to preach today. Whatever you want to say. Amen. 
after releasing many number one CDs, starring in many motion picture movies, I believe up to seven or eight now, winning over 200 music awards from Grammys to MTV to whatever else you want to say, Mariah Carey said this, I've always had very low self-esteem. And the reality is, while most people don't know it and cannot tell, I still really do. Mariah Carey said that. After an award show, the actress from the movie Precious, how many of you know what I'm talking about? From the movie Precious, after an award show, the Golden Globe, she, Go, Golden Globe, she was targeted, she was harassed, she was bullied on Facebook, bullied on Twitter, made fun of for her size, made fun of for how she looked, made fun of because she was too dark, too this, too that. And in retaliation, the star tweeted out this and posted this on her Facebook. She said, the people making mean comments about my size, my shape, and my hair, I would like for you to know that you did make me cry. And it made me cry all the way on my private jet. (laughs) Flying all the way to my million-dollar mansion. And I was crying as I pulled up in my million-dollar car to go to my million-dollar job. But you made me cry. And ladies and gentlemen, that today is self-esteem. Somebody that can look at themselves, not worried about what society may say, but look at themselves and say, I like myself. I love myself. I am good enough. I am smart enough. And doggone it, people like me. Amen. Hallelujah. Many of us would assume that Mariah Carey would be the one with self-esteem. Am I correct? We would think Mariah Carey would have all the self-esteem in the world. This actress from Precious would be the one that we would think, oh, well, maybe she would be the one that would say, I I don't have enough self-esteem. And I don't want you to assume on face value today, when you look around this church today, then you see somebody and you think they must really love themselves. They must really like themselves. A lot of people who are spiritual have very low self-esteem. Am I right? A lot of people who are very spiritual have very low self-esteem. There is a recent phenomenon called, on social media, called selfies. <laughs> How many of you know about selfies? Which has actually been added to the dictionary in 2013, the word selfies. And don't get me wrong, I've been known to post a selfie or two, amen? I've been known to click and, and post a selfie or one or two here and there. But there are a lot of people who take pictures of themselves all day long. That's all they do. Posting 10 or more posts about themselves and pictures and things about themselves. Look, we don't care that you just went to Chick-fil-A through the line. Amen? We don't care that you just went to 7-Eleven to get a Mountain Dew. We don't care that you just went to the bank and you saw a man who was, looked aggressive. Okay? We don't care. But a lot of people, they post 10 and more pictures a day of themselves and don't really, and really they don't even like themselves. But they want other people to look at them and want other people to like them. And the more people, they're more, the more people press the like button, the more they are affirmed in their own broken self-esteem. That if 19 people say I look nice in my picture, what does it matter if 19, 23, 59, 135, 3,547 like their picture, but you don't like yourself? Oh, my God. What does it matter if everybody else in the world loves you, but you don't like yourself? You think just because everybody else likes people that they don't, they don't, they don't get into self-depression, they don't, they don't get into self-medication, they don't turn to alcohol? Look at Robin Williams. You think Robin Williams had the world in front of him, funny, famous, got the money, all the money in the world, killed himself because he didn't like himself. What does it matter if everybody likes you but you don't like yourself? I'm here to turn to somebody and tell them, you better start loving yourself because you are beautiful on the inside and the outside. You look good. You are sweet. Your personality will carry you further than anybody else could carry you. Do you hear me today? Come on, y'all. Hallelujah today. Today, God is wanting us to get a picture of ourselves by using his lens. Sound to somebody and say, I'm using his lens today. I'm using his lens today. 
According to the book of Genesis, we are made in his image and we are made in his likeness. Well, let me tell you something. If I am made after the greatest person of all time, then I am good. If I am created after the image of God, then I am beautiful. If I'm created after the likeness of God, then I am good enough. Do you hear me today? And I hope that you are ready today for your runway ready. You are runway ready. Somebody say, I'm runway ready. I'm runway ready. But you need to be runway ready because God is about to show you a picture today of what you're getting ready to look like, of what you're getting ready to do, of what you're getting ready to accomplish. Amen? Whatever picture you've been seeing yourself as, that's the old you. You know the picture you just took? Everybody look at that picture real quick. That's the old you. That's the old you. Today, that you is done. Amen. Today, when you walk out this door, you got a new you. Amen. You got new opportunity. You got a new love for yourself. You got a new likeness for yourself because you were created in the image of Jesus, of God himself. Amen. Hallelujah. So whatever picture you've been seeing of yourself, that ends today. That's just a dress rehearsal. Do you hear me today? That was just a dress rehearsal. But the picture God is getting ready to show you hasn't even been captured yet. Amen. The picture, oh my God. I said the picture God is getting ready to show you, you hadn't even clicked on the button yet to take it yet. Amen. Can I tell you today, for those of you that can handle this, the reason why the enemy has been fighting you so ferociously, so difficultly, is that he's already seen a picture of your destiny. He's already seen a picture of what you're going he's already seen a picture of where we're moving this church to he's already seen a picture of the millions and millions that this ministry will touch so the devil is scared of you and the devil is scared of me hallelujah today because he wants us to stay so trapped in our past selfie our past selfie that we can't see the new and improved Ryan, the new and improved Priscilla, the new and improved Pastor, the new and improved Tommy and Michelle, the new and improved Doris. Do you hear me today? This is the photo shoot of favor that we're about to walk into today. Amen. Hallelujah. A lot of people are going to be unnerved. They're going to be perturbed. They're going to be disturbed. And they're going to be upset because they keep wanting to put you in a picture of your past. I said they keep wanting to put you in a picture of your past. But I'm tired of people boxing me in from my past. Amen. My past was who I was. It's not who I am. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And today I want to tell you the devil's fighting you so hard is because he's scared of your, your future and your destiny. He wants to kill you before you can look at what you've been dreaming about. He wants to take you out of the picture before you can ever even see what God's about to do in your life. Do you hear me today? Hallelujah. The devil's coming after you. He's trying to attack you. He's trying to destroy you. But it's just because he got a glimpse and, and, and a whiff of a, what you're about to do and who you're about to be and what you're about to accomplish in the name of Jesus. And I have a suspicion today. There are some people here today, the only reason you haven't given up yet is that God has given you a picture of your tomorrow. I said the only reason you haven't given up yet is because God has given you a picture of where you're going to. The only reason you haven't quit yet is because God has given you a, a word about what What's about to happen? If all we were going to have is what we have right now, we would be depressed, stressed, and on suicide watch. Would we not? Hallelujah. Yes, we would. But I'm here to tell you, because God has given me a dream, God has given me a vision, because God has woken me up with a dream, he has given me promises and visions and prophecies about where our future is going to and where your future is going to and what you're getting ready to look like and what you're about to do. No devil in hell can wipe away the picture I have in my mind no devil in hell can take away where I'm about to go to in Jesus name hallelujah today I want to give you the layout for your photo shoot of favor amen y'all ready for the layout of your photo shoot of favor this is how you're going to get the picture of yourself ready for what God is going to get about to take you're about to get ready for the picture God's about to take look at your neighbor and say this neighbor now, let's say it with, we got a good crowd today, so let's say it like this. Let's say it with some passion and some, some umph, okay? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. I, hope ready I hope you're ready for a favor photo shoot. Favor photo shoot. Please, don't Please don't shout over what I have right now. But I can't wait for you to see the picture of my next car. I can't wait for you to see the picture. 
of my next house. I can't wait for you to see the picture of where God is getting ready to take my business. God is getting ready to take a picture of my destiny. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, if you believe that, give the Lord a hand. If you believe that, give the Lord a hand. Hallelujah. Now, this is what you want to write down. The very first thing you need for your photo shoot a favor. The very first thing you're going to need for your photo shoot a favor. Number one, no filter. Write that down. Number one, no filter. Write that down. Everybody say, no filter. On social media... Oh, y'all can, y'all can repeat everything I said. <laughs> TJ, come on up. We'll act, like, we'll act like we're preaching to a different crowd. Come here. You can, you can you, uh, get me ready for when I go to, not, for, to a different country. You know, you can do my, my, um, my Spanish translation. You good? Oh, well. <laughs> Native American translation. Praise the Lord. No filter. On social media, your pictures can be adjusted with different types of filters. I I didn't even know this, okay, but I just found this out this week. Your pictures can be adjusted with different types of filters. Did you know that? Where you can change the texture of the picture. On Instagram, which I have an Instagram, but I've never posted anything. I don't even know how to use it, to be honest with you. I need to start using it. But I was doing research on Instagram and I, uh, over the week, and I noticed that Instagram, they give you over 20 or so different options of filters. Did y'all know that? You took it one way, but you have the opportunity to change the picture through different filters. Mm. One of the filters is called Rise. Rise. R-I-S-E. Rise. Don't miss this. God is saying, whatever picture you have in your mind about where you're at right now, right now get ready to rise up to another level. Amen? So no filter. You're about to rise up to another level. Now, if you think where you're at right now is your last stop, then you might as well throw the camera in the garbage. Amen? You might as well quit, t- quit taking pictures. But for some of us in here who would declare, this is not my last stop. I'm going further than where I'm at right now. There is blessing and favor on the other side. I'm climbing the mountain. I'm getting to the top. I will see the benefits and the blessings and the, and the, 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 the honey and the, the, on the other side. Amen? Hallelujah. The favor is coming, amen? For those of us like that, we got to keep on keeping on. There is another filter that's called Sierra. Sierra. What's Sierra? The desert. See, where a lot of your haters get confused and a lot of your enemies get confused is that they don't understand if y'all are hating on me while I'm in a desert season then what are you going to do when I come out of this? Because I will rise and I will come out of this Sierra season. Oh, y'all didn't get what I said. I said a lot of your enemies are getting confused and they hating on you right now while you're in the Sierra and you're in the filter zone and you're in the desert. But I'm here to tell you, what are they going to do when you come out of that season? What are they going to hate on you when you come out of that season? If they're hating on you now in the desert season, then what are they going to do when I come out of this? When God gives me an oasis in my desert, when God gives me an oasis in my desert hallelujah look at your neighbor and say i'm coming out of my desert season i'm coming out of my desert season so take a good picture people just how i look while i was struggling Take a good picture at just how I looked when I was in this little building and and barely being able to to get enough uh, people in here to fill up the seats. Take a good look at where I'm I'm at when it's not the nicest building because, baby, I'm going to the nicest building. I'm going to have the nicest chair. I'm going to have the nicest stage. I'm going to have the – I believe it. Do you believe that, Pastor? Absolutely. So take a picture. I'm ready. Take a picture now because what you see today, you won't see forever because I'm coming out of this struggle. I'm coming out of this mess in Jesus' name. I won't stay in the Sierra for long. I'm coming out in Jesus' name. Look how good I look with no money. Amen? Look how good you look with no money. Look how good you look styling and profiling when you don't even know how you're going to make it. Imagine when God comes through after I lay hands on you today and I impart financial breakthrough into your life. Imagine how good you're going to look when you're coming out. Imagine how good you're going to look. Look at how good I look with no money. Look at how good I look with not the nicest and the best of the best. My desert season is over. Y'all just got a glimpse of my desert picture. You might as well rip that up and throw that away because I'm going to give you the mountaintop picture.
picture. Hallelujah. Yes. Instagram also has a filter called 1977. That's the year I was born. That was a good year. Good year. That was, year you born. That was a real good year. Man, I know Christine and me are grateful for that year. Nineteen, they have a filter called 1977. That's a throwback. I think we should be worried when our year is now the throwback. <laughs> you know? Usually the throwback would be like 60s or 50s. Now we're just getting older, TJ. But the throwback is called 1977. How many of you know what I'm talking about? A couple of you in here. A lot of people who don't like you are always wanting to put you through the filter of your past. Oh, my gosh. Y'all missed totally what I said. A lot of people who don't like you, a lot of your haters, a lot of your enemies and your backbiters are always putting you through the filter of your past. But I came to speak over your life and over your spirit today that old things have passed away and all things are becoming brand new. Hallelujah. Maybe some of you can't shout, but for those of us who can thank God that I finally got the picture of my past out of my mind, I finally got the picture of my past out of my spirit, you ought to give the Lord some hand, a hand right now. If you can Thank God that my past is behind me. My future is ahead of me. Now I'm going on in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It don't matter what happened yesterday. It won't stop my tomorrow. Do you hear me? It don't matter what happened yesterday. It will not stop my tomorrow. It don't matter how much broke I was yesterday. Tomorrow I'll be blessed and highly favored. It don't matter what you thought about me back then. Today I live and I have favor on my life. Do you hear me? You meant to kill me with your evil look. You meant to destroy me with your word. But I tell you, all it did was made me stronger. Hallelujah. All it did was made me better. Amen. Hallelujah. So the filter of 1977 of your past is done. Quit letting people throw your past on you. You know what? When the devil brings up your past, you bring up his future. I said when the devil brings up your past, you bring up his future. Hallelujah. When the devil attacks you with your past, you remind him what's in, what's in store for his future. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Now here is the filter most people don't use and that filter is called normal. <laughs> this, is a, <laughs> this is a filter, am I right? This is a filter most people don't read, and that's called normal. This may not make everyone shout in here today, but for about 25 of us that will receive this today, God told me to tell you he's about to return your life back to normal. I said, oh, my God. I said, for the about 25 of us, this may not make everybody shout in here today, but for the about 25 of us that will receive this word right now, God said to tell you, I'm about to return your life back to normal. You're not going to keep having chaos and keep having drama in your life. This is for those of us that want to be able to go to work and just put our mind on our business and work. You won't be able to, this is for those that can't sleep through the night. God said, I'm about to take you back to normal. You don't want more disturbing phone calls in the middle of the night. You don't need no more disturbing knocks on the door in the middle of the night. You just want your life to go back to normal. This is for those of us that want to say, God, I just want my normal life back. Will you just open your mouth and say, Lord, will you make my life normal? Hallelujah. So no filter. No filter. In order to get ready for our photo shoot, of shot, shot, photo shoot a favor, favor of shot, whatever. Y'all know what I'm saying. If you don't, read up there. <laughs> the photo shoot a favor, number one, no filter. We're taking filters off our life. Do you hear me today? So we can get ready for what God's going to do. The favor on your life will not require a filter. Okay, nobody even got this. I'm going to say it one more time. The favor that God has placed on your life, it doesn't require a filter. You don't have to have a filter to make it look better. Do you hear what I'm saying? You don't have to have a filter to make, it, to make it clear and look right. God said, no, no, no. All you need is the favor of God on your life today. Amen. You will not have to go through anything more. God said to tell you today. You will not, who received this word right now, you will not have to go through anything more in order to possess the manifestation of what God has promised. Oh, my God. I didn't say.
today you won't have to go through anything because most of us have already gone through it. Do you hear what I said? But I'm here to tell you what God said to tell you today. You will not have to go through anything more, any more distress, any more problems, any more late night phone calls, any more late night visits at the door. You're not going to have to go through it anymore because God said in order to possess the manifestation right now, I'm putting it on your life. The promises of God are yes and amen, and they are for right now. Uh, Sharonda received that. That's for her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I saw her stand up, so she gets it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. People are going to be looking at us like we're crazy because they can't understand, Pastor Rossi, how it is that we achieve this level of success without having to compromise who it is that we are in God. Do you hear me today? Oh, my God. I said people are going to be looking at us crazy, wondering how in the world, how in the world did you possess, how in the world did you get success, how in the world did you get favor on your life and achieve what you achieved without having to compromise who you are in God and what you believe in what you stand for. Let me tell you something. I won't back down from what I believe and where I speak in the name of Jesus and they won't have to compromise because favor shall follow me. Hallelujah. The real reason why the enemy can't stand me is because I don't have to put on an act. Oh my God. Anybody has been around me for any time, gone to lunch with me, gone to dinner with me, gone on retreat with me, y'all know what you get up here is what you get out there. Amen. I am who I am. You may not like that. You may not love it, but I love myself, and I got self-esteem. Amen. I got self-esteem. But the reason the enemy don't like who we are is because we don't have to put on an act. I don't have to be phony. I don't have to be somebody I'm not. I don't have to act one way in here and one way out there. But every day that I wake up, I can look in the mirror and say, God, thank you for for letting me be myself again. Thank you for letting me be who you created me to be. Thank you for making me James Ryan Wolf on February 16, 1977. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Pastor, can you preach today? So the number one thing you have to be ready for, I'm going to need another water. The number one thing you have to be ready for and for your favor shot, uh, favor photo shoot is no filter. Number two, number two, write this down, number two, no filter, number one. Number two, no frame. To get ready, amen, to get ready for your photo shot of favor. Number one, you got to get rid of the filters. Number two, you got to, thank you, Cody, you got to get ready to get rid of the frame. With everyone having camera phones now, the sale of picture frames has gone drastically down. Do y'all know that? has gone drastically down. Because most of us who take pictures with our phone never even print off the pictures. How many of you really go print off? Now be honest, okay? There's like two of you in here, okay? Y'all are the OCD people in here, okay? We know who you are. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The, but most people, we don't even, we just take pictures and then we're, we're satisfied with scanning through our pictures with a flip, with a, with a, with a push them aside. I don't like that when I don't. But God told me to tell you today that the reason your adversary and the reason your enemy are going to be frustrated is because they don't know how to frame you. Amen. They don't know how to put you in a box. They keep trying to put you in a box. But every time they try to limit your potential, your gift, and your intelligence, God keeps breaking you out of the frame. Do you hear me? Every time they start trying to put you in a box, you come busting out of that frame in the name of Jesus. And I don't want you to go through today, but for those, I, I don't know what you're going through today, but for those of you who can and thank God right now. He is saying sometime between now and Christmas, you're getting ready to walk into an area of life that you didn't even know existed. You're getting ready to walk into an area of life that you didn't even know you had a gift in for. You're getting ready to walk into an area of life that you didn't even know you had favor on. You didn't even know that you could do what you're about to do. I said sometime between now and Christmas, for those of us that will receive this in Jesus' name, you are about to walk into destiny. You are about to walk into promotion. You are about about to walk in the increase. Come on, y'all. Somebody praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because God is saying today, I'm destroying the frame. I'm destroying the box that you've been in in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So if there is no frame, why is that, Pastor Ron? Why is there no frame? Because frames are nailed to a wall. Mm, 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 mm. Why is there no frame? Because frames are nailed to a wall. The anointing on your life is so smooth. 
The anointing on your life is so real. The anointing on your life is, life is so powerful that will not allow you to be nailed down. Do you hear me today? Just when you think they have you tied down, just when they think they got you nailed down, God is shifting you into another direction. Just when they think they got you figured out, just when they think they got you pinned down to one location, God said, I'm moving you into another direction. Hallelujah. I don't know where you are today, but God told me to tell you to tell all your adversaries, all the forces working against you, you can, they, they cannot keep you in a box anymore. They cannot keep you tied down and nailed down, keep your finances in such a struggle anymore. Do you hear me? God said, I'm releasing it in Jesus' name. I'm releasing them in their destiny. Hallelujah. Because, see, the gift God of God on your life, the gift, the anointing on your life is so heavy and it's so real. He's about to give you knowledge and wisdom, understanding and foresight that nobody has trained you for, that no book can give you, that no message will give you. All I know is that the favor on my life is so fresh that every time they try and box me in, God writes a new job description for me of the anointing that's on my life. I, somebody say, no frame, no frame, no frame, no frame. Frame. Come on, say no frame. no frame. So in order to be ready for our photo shoot of favor, first is no filter. Second is no frame. Third is no floss. No floss. No floss. Say no floss. no floss. I can't even see what you think is wrong with me. <laughs> I can't even see what you think is wrong with me. I can't even see what you're talking about, me talking that nonsense, spewing venom out of your mouth. I don't even see that in the name of Jesus. I bind that up. I can't see no flaws. And when you finally get to the level of freedom that it doesn't matter what people think about you, when you finally get to the level of freedom, it doesn't matter what you say behind my back. When you finally get to a level of freedom that you don't care how they talk about you, how they lie about you, how they slander you, because you know what? I just like me. I like who I am. You don't have to like me, but God likes me, and I like me. Hallelujah. You know what? If you don't like what I'm wearing, buy me something new. If you don't like the car I'm driving, buy me a new car. If you don't like the house I live in, buy me a new house. If you think this church is kind of run down, baby, I promise you, go buy me a new church. I'll walk right through that door with you. Don't tell me what you don't like about me unless you can do something to change it. Do you hear me? Don't tell me you don't like this about me. You don't like that about me. You don't like how I walk. You don't like how I talk. You don't like how I act. Well, guess what? Unless you can help me, don't talk to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, my God, Pastor Preaching. There is a poem that says, I saw diamonds in my own backyard. I'm so hip that even my errors are correct. Woo. Do you hear me today? That's who y'all looking at today. I am so hip that even my errors are correct. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I don't have a self-esteem issue. I have an anointed arrogance. Now turn to the other neighbor, the other neighbor, and say, neighbor, I said, I don't have a self-esteem issue. I have anointed arrogance. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What do you mean by anointed arrogance, Pastor Ryan? It means it's not I, it's the Christ that lives in me. Amen. It's not about me, it's about him today. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It's the God in me. Hallelujah. It's the God in me. Hallelujah. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Get Mary Mary CD and you will see it. In our text today in the book of Judges 6, the children of Israel are being chastised because they fell short of the glory of God. They're being chastised because they didn't honor God with their worship. So God put them in the hands of the Midianites. And he gave the Midianites the right to oppress them. Now, y'all got to get where I'm going. I'm, I'm, I, this is where I'm about to go to an end in just a second. So, so God, God they, they were being chastised because of all these things, because they fell short of the glory, because they didn't honor God with their worship. So God put them in the hands of the Midianites, and he gave the Midianites the right to oppress them. 
But I want you to see something very important. Turn with me, uh, Colin, if you can put it up there. Judges 6, verse 6. I want you to see this. Judges 6, verse 6. God says, the enemy can oppress you, he can bother you, and he can attack you. But this is where I draw the line. Mm. Watch what I'm about to give you. He says, the enemy can bother you, the enemy can oppress you, the enemy can attack you. But Pastor Ozzy, this is where I draw the line. He says the enemy actually crosses the line when he makes you impoverished, when he makes you broke, when he makes you have nothing. When he makes you have a poverty mentality. He, when he impoverishes you, that's when God shows you. You can read the rest where God shows up and shows out. But I'm here to tell you, he crosses the line where he comes and tries to impoverish us. Do you hear me today? You're not supposed to be a child of God and so greatly financially struggling. Pastor Ryan, I don't like when you say that. Well, I don't like it, but I'm telling you the truth. We are not supposed to be children of God. And baby, I'm struggling, but I'm telling you, I'm coming out of it today in Jesus' name. I'm coming out of it in Jesus name I'm not going to be living like this no more the, Bi the Bible says that the enemy crossed the line when he tried to impoverish them you're not supposed to be a child of God and so greatly financially struggling when the enemy starts messing with your finances is when you have to have enough sense to cry out to God and say God no more in Jesus name I'm moving forward I'm going for a breakthrough in my life hallelujah and that's when God, he would, they were able to oppress him. They were able to attack them. They were able to bother them. But once they went after their money and they started being impoverished, God said, no, you are not my child and going to be broke in the name of Jesus. When have the, the enemy starts messing with you, you need to remind him. The Lord said, I am not going to be broke. I am blessed and highly favored. I am blessed coming and I'm blessed going. I'm blessed in the home and in the field and on the job. I am going to the land full of milk and honey in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It's not God's intention. And this may not get a lot of shouts. That's okay. I don't really care. I'm telling, trying to help you out today. Okay? I'm trying to help me out today. Know this. When I preach, I'm preaching to myself. Amen? Uh, just because I'm looking at you doesn't mean I'm preaching only at you. I'm preaching to myself. And I want you to understand that God said it's not his intention or the mind or the heart of God for a child of God to picture themselves broke and poor. Two people said all right and agreed. That's all right. It is not God's intention, it is not God's heart, and it is not God's mindset for us to be able to, to picture ourselves as broke and poor. Let me tell you something. I may, not, I may right now, in the name of Jesus, I don't have a lot, but you will never know in the name of Jesus. You will think I have got swag. You will think that I drive the best. You will think I live in the best. You will think I wear the best. I will walk with a, 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 an upness that says, hey, I am blessed and highly favored. But God will show up and show out in my life in Jesus name hallelujah so I want you to hear this today it's not God's intention or the mind or the heart of God for a child of God to picture themselves broken poor y'all just missed it again y'all missed it it's not God's intention God's mind or God's heart for you to be picturing yourself and broke now notice the word I use picture you may be broke right now and you may be poor right now but you can't picture yourself like that you got to get a picture of yourself that says, right now, this is my current situation, but this is not the future of my life. This is not how I'm going to be. I'm not going to be having to struggle every day of my life. I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out. Do you hear me? I'm coming out of this. I'm not going to stay broke. I'm not going to stay impoverished. I'm not going to stay down and out. Do you hear me? I'm going to be blessed and highly favored. I'll say it again because I love saying it. What good can we as Christians do for anybody else if we can't even do for ourselves? How can you do for someone else and help anybody and help your church and help your family if you can't even help yourself? Amen? God didn't call us to be broken, impoverished. Listen, I didn't make this up today. This is the word of God. He said, this is not in accordance to the will that I have for your life. Some of you today will not get this breakthrough because you can't give God glory because you're so limited by your perception of what other people think about you. I'm going to say it again because I got some ums and some ahs and some wows. I like that. So I'm going to say it again. Some of you today will not get this breakthrough, truly get this in your life today because you can't give God glory because you're so limited by your perception of what other people are thinking about you. 
and you don't even realize that you're unintentionally blocking the hand of God from reaching you. Oh, man, oh, man. You are unintentionally. You're not a bad person. I'm not a bad person. But we're unintentionally blocking what God wants to do in our life because we're so worried about what other people think about me. Let me tell you, I don't care what other people think about me. I care what God thinks about me. I am blessed and highly favored. I am blessed coming and blessed going. I get them to have the best of the best. Pastor, I don't like when you as a pastor say, I'll have the best of the best go to another church. I'm going to have the best of the best. I'm going to drive the best. I'm going to live in the best. I'm going to wear the best in Jesus' name. I declare it may not be my situation right now, but I declare it will be my future. It will will be my future in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah pastor that scares me when you say that well then you stay broke and you stay poverty but let me tell you something but when you start seeing the man of God get blessed then it's going to start falling on you because everything stopped from the head on down and if I'm being blessed you're going to be blessed and if I'm seeing favor you're going to see favor so what you better be praying is not oh I don't like it he has that I don't like you better be saying God bless him in Jesus name God pour out blessings upon him that he cannot contain so that it will drip in into my hands. Do you hear me today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah today. So I want you to understand we are unintentionally blocking the hand of God from reaching us because we're so worried about what other people think and what other people say and their thoughts and their desire. I don't care. I care what God says. Amen. But I'm here to tell you for those of you that will receive this, this is the word of God today. Listen, this is prophetically. I wrote this down because God gave me this prophetically. This is prophetically speaking right now. God says if you are tired of being under financial distress, stress, if you are tired of being under financial duress, if you are tired of being behind on your bills, if you are tired of just barely having enough to get by, if you are tired of having to rob Peter to pay Paul, he said the only reason that I haven't moved yet is that you were so stressed and your mind was so gone that you forgot to ask me to give you the financial breakthrough that you need today. Oh my God. He said the only reason, this is what God told me, y'all take it or leave it, I'm taking it. But he said, he said, the only reason, you tell them, Ryan, the only reason I have not moved as of yet is because they were too stressed and they were too emotional and they forgot to ask me to give them the financial breakthrough that they need today. But God said to tell you, if you will ask him and if you will give him what is his, I will give you financial blessing and I will give you a financial breakthrough and I will will give you a financial bread miracle today like you have never seen before. Thus sayest the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know how many of you are going to have enough self-esteem to worship God like you don't. Whew, let me preach that. Felt the Lord come upon me in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father God. Mm. I feel the presence in here. Listen, financial curses are about to be broke. I just heard the Lord say there's been people, y'all don't even realize you've had financial curses put on your life. People have spoken over you and put financial curses over your money. Put financial curse. I'm talking about witch type stuff. And you may not even know it, but I'm here to tell you, God said, I'm breaking financial curses over your life. I'm breaking financial stresses over your life. I'm breaking financial breakthrough is coming to your house today. He said, you will not have to worry. God said, I will take care of every need and I will give you more than enough to Day. I don't know how many of you are going to have enough have enough self-esteem to worship God like you don't like the picture of poverty. I don't know how many of you are going to worship God like you don't like the picture of being broke. I don't know how many of you are going to have enough self-esteem to worship God like you don't like the picture of just barely being able to get by. I don't know man, how many of you are going to like to have enough self-esteem to worship God like you're tired of robbing Peter to pay Paul. But God said if you will worship me in here today this will not be a fall and a holiday season full of financial struggle. Oh, y'all better hear what I just said. God said this will not be a fall and a financial season, a holiday season full of financial struggle. My God, did I come into the wrong church today or something? Am I at the wrong place? Did I come into 7501 North Cimarron Road? God said if you will lift your voice high this holiday season, your children will not miss out on nothing. They will have more than enough. I said this season, none of your bills will be left behind. This season, you you will catch up on what you've been waiting for. This season, your cup will run it over. This season, you will have more than enough. This season, you will see breakthrough and blessing. This season, you will see financial.
financial breakthrough this season. I speak to you before December 31st, 2014. Your situation is changing around. Before December 31st, 2014, you are walking in financial breakthrough. You are walking in financial miracle. No more just barely getting by. No more in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'm talking to some people that will praise him right now. I'm looking for some people that will praise him right now. I'm looking for some people that will praise him right now. I'm looking for some people that will worship him right now. I'm looking for some people that will lift him up right now. Come on. Hallelujah. God said, I heard God. He said, for those of you that will praise me right now, you won't have to go through a season, a holiday season of lack. You won't have to go through a holiday season of doing without. I will bring blessing and favor to your life like you have never seen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's go, guys. Put some on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said praise him right now. Praise him right now. Lift him up and praise him right now. Tell him, God, I declare I'm ready for my photo shoot of favor. I'm ready for my photo shoot of favor. Hallelujah. 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 I'm ready for my photo shoot of favor. Hallelujah. 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 I'm ready. I'm ready for my photo shoot of favor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Keep praising him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Put anything on. Anything. Let's go. Hallelujah. Praise him in Jesus' name. Praise him in Jesus' name. Praise him in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. We are ready. Tell your neighbor I'm ready for my photo shoot. A favor. Hallelujah. 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 Right now, I want you to get up to this altar right now. Get up to this altar. If you need a breakthrough, if you are declaring today, my finances are turning around. I am not. The devil has impoverished me. The devil has put a poverty spirit on me. Tried to put a poverty spirit on me. Today, I bind it up in Jesus' name. I will not stay like this. I will not stay like this. I'm coming out of this in Jesus' name. I'm coming out of this in Jesus' name. I'm coming out of this in Jesus' name. Come on. Begin to praise him. If you praise him right now, your life will never be the same in Jesus' Jesus name today something financially is breaking in your life today in partition a financial breakthrough the struggle is over 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 hallelujah hallelujah Thank you, Lord. We declare in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we declare. Hey, on the double We declare we're not going back to the way it used to be in Jesus' name. We are going forward in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we are going forward. Hallelujah. My finances are turning around. My situation is turning around. My business is turning around. My job is turning around. My life is turning around. My marriage is turning around. My kids are turning around. My health is turning around. My situation is turning around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all are there. Breakthrough is here. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord just told me. He said, don't stop praising me. He said, before I can impart anything into them, that they got to bring up the praise to him. They got to lift him up. It ain't going to do you no good if I lay hands on you right now and you ain't ready to receive it. So you got to get in your mindset that I'm ready to receive this. I'm ready to receive this in Jesus' name. 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 Come on, keep praising him. Don't stop just because I'm not talking. Don't stop. Praise him right now.
Hallelujah. Come on, keep praising him. Come on, keep praising him. Come on. The Lord, I just heard him. He said, when you lay hands on them, Ryan, it's going to be an importation. But they got to be ready to receive it. Because if you're not ready to receive it, you're going to go back and live the same life you've been living. You're going to still be struggling. But today, when I lay hands on you, if you are open and you are ready to receive in Jesus' name, your life will never be the same in Jesus' name. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yes, you're not going back to the way it used to be. Somebody, let me tell you, you're not going to have to borrow food from nobody else in the name of Jesus. You're not going to have to borrow money from nobody else in the name of Jesus. You're not going to have to struggle just to get by in the name of Jesus. Some of you are about to get promoted on your job. Some of you are about to see increase in your home, increase in your family, increase in your life, double for your trouble. Somebody say double for my trouble. Double for my trouble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, yes, yes. Now y'all ready. 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 Every praise. Every praise is to our God. 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 Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Y'all ready now. Y'all about to receive. I prophesy. Your life will never be the same when I lay hands on you today. Your life will never be the same. You're not going back. Poverty mentality is done. Broke mentality is done. In fact, let me tell somebody, go out and start looking at new cars. Go out and start looking at new houses. Go out and start looking at what God's going to do. Because he's about to do it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Yes. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for the photo shoot of Favor? Favor just showed up in the house. Favor just showed up in the house. Favor will do for you what no man can do. Favor will do for you what no door can do. Favor will do for you what no money can do. Favor just showed up. Favor just showed up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on. Come on. Take it up. Turn it up, Come on, y'all. Let's go. Every word of worship. Every word of worship. Just one accord. Come on. Yes. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. Yeah. Every praise. It's to our God. It's to our God. Let's go. Yes. Breakthrough is here. To our God. The financial struggle is over. Blessings are flowing. Yes. Every praise. Every praise to our God. To our God. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. Yes. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? You're not gonna be the same. Y'all ready? To our God. To our God. Glory, hallelujah, it's to our God. Yes, every prayer, every prayer, it's to our God. Yes, hallelujah, I'm about to dance, I'm about to shout, I'm about to run. Woo! Every prayer, I'm not going back. I'm getting out of this building in Jesus' name. These chairs are getting changed in Jesus' name. I'm moving into the better and bigger than this in Jesus' name. I declare I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm not living in a broke mentality anymore. I'm going forward in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I declare promotion over there. I declare blessing over there. I declare favor over there. I declare increase over there. I declare new jobs over there. I declare I declare accepted checks over there. Bonuses over there. Favor. Open doors over there. Life. In Jesus' name. No more stealing from the devil. You can't steal from them no more. We're going to enemy's camp. Hallelujah. Yeah, every place. Yes. 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 God my Savior. God my healer. God my healer. Yes. Yes. 
there. Pass off the there. You got a breakthrough coming, lady of God. You got a breakthrough coming, woman of God. You get it. Yeah. Here we go. Get that song on first. Let's get that song on. Here we go. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. Let's go. Hallelujah. Here we go. Yes. Here we go. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Steve, where you at? I want you to stand behind him just in case because I don't know what's about to happen in this place. I want you just to be ready. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Every praise unto our God. Every praise unto our God. Right now. Financial impartation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, let's go. Father, in Jesus' name, financial importation. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. If you're going out, go out. If you're passing out, go out. In Jesus' name, financial blessing and breakthrough. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, yes. Financial breakthrough and increase in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Financial blessing and increase in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. name. All right, that's all right. Help my boy there. Hallelujah. Just come on. We will will be all over the church if we need to. Right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now in the name of Jesus. Financial breakthrough. Financial blessing in Jesus' name. 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 Come on, y'all. 
up. Keep praising him out here. Keep praising him out here. Come on. Financial breakthrough. Financial impartation. Right now. In Jesus' name. It's okay. It's okay. We go ahead. You will catch you. I promise. We're going to catch you. Hallelujah. We will catch you. If you are followed out, we will catch you. Okay? We will catch you. John, get up here. John. Hallelujah. John. Hallelujah. Just in case. But we will make sure nobody gets hurt. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, financial impartation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' Give me some more anointing on. Give me some more anointing on. Keep it flowing, brother. Thank you, man. Every praise unto our God. Yes. Financial breakthrough. Financial impartation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Financial impartation. Financial breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. There you go. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Financial impartation. Financial breakthrough. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Financial breakthrough. Financial impartation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Financial praise. Financial breakthrough. Financial impartation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. 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 Financial breakthrough, yes. Financial impartation in Jesus' name. 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 Give me some more, Holly. Give me some more, brother. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In financial breakthrough. Financial impartation. In Jesus' name. 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 Yes. Financial breakthrough, financial impartation, financial breakthrough in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Aren't you glad you stuck around for this? In financial breakthrough, financial impartation, never be the same in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Financial breakthrough, financial impartation in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Catch it, young man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Financial breakthrough, Carolyn. Financial impartation, Carolyn. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Financial breakthrough. You'll never lack another day in your life. The curse is broken. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now praise Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My sweet of peace. In the name of Jesus, Shay, we declare in Jesus' name. Financial breakthrough. Because I want to talk to you how God talking to you. He don't call you like you. He's on the show. So today I tell you in Jesus' name. Financial breakthrough. Financial increase. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You ready, Aja? You ready? Financial breakthrough. Financial impartation. In Jesus' name. 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 I am in. You ready, Dondi? You ready, Dondi? You ready, Dondi? Financial impartation. Financial breakthrough. In Jesus' name. 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 You ready, Dwani? You ready? Financial breakthrough. Financial increase. No more struggle. Double for your trouble. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Financial increase. Financial breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Financial breakthrough. Financial impartation. In Jesus' name. 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 You ready, baby? You about to feel some warm hands. You about to feel some power come upon you. In the name of Jesus. Financial breakthrough. Financial impartation. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. You ready? Financial impartation. Financial breakthrough. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Keep praising Him. Y'all better pray for somebody else's blessing. You want to see your blessing, you better pray for somebody else's. You ready, Jasmine? Financial breakthrough. Yeah, give me some more. 
you need, she needs it. She needs it in Jesus' name. You're ready. You're ready. Financial breakthrough. Financial impartation. In Jesus' name. 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 Keep it going, boys. Keep it going. Financial breakthrough. Finan you ready, my girl? You ready? Financial breakthrough. You need financial breakthrough. You need financial stress reliever, don't you? You need a relief, don't you? You're about to receive it in Jesus' name. Financial breakthrough. Financial stress reliever. Financial impartation. Right now. In Jesus' name. 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 You ready, Ashanti? You ready? Financial breakthrough. Financial increase. In Jesus' name. 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 Y'all better sing hallelujah. Sing praise him. Hallelujah. Come on. Yes. Yes. I don't know the word, but that's a Yes. Hallelujah. You ready? Financial breakthrough. Financial impartation. Receive in Jesus' name. Right now, your life is changing from this day forward. In Jesus' name. 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 You ready, my girl? Financial breakthrough. Financial with your hand. With your hand. In Jesus' name. You need some financial breakthrough, don't you? Amen. Yes, you do. In Jesus' name, we declare for her family, for her, for her life. For her mama, for her grandmama, whoever God is for her, we declare financial increase and financial breakthrough in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Woman of God, you ready? Financial breakthrough, financial impartation, financial blessing. Right now, not another day goes by with the struggle. The struggle is over. Financial breakthrough, financial impartation. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, y'all. Keep praising him. Keep praising him. Let's take it up one more time. You ready, lady? Financial breakthrough. Financial impartation. The worst days are behind you. The best is yet to come. In Jesus' name. Financial blessing. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You ready, lady? You ready? The trigger, you ready? In the name of Jesus, you need some financial breakthrough. You need some financial miracle. You're about to get it right now. Give me some more, Holland. Keep it flowing, brother. Thank you. I love you, brother. Financial breakthrough. Financial increase in Jesus' name. It's upon you today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Woo! Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, Miss Doris, come here. Financial breakthrough, financial increase, financial partition, partition. Right now, you ready? Hallelujah, hallelujah, yes. Hallelujah. Cody, Colin, Cody, Mom, Seth, let's get up here. Brandon, hallelujah, let's go. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Financial breakthrough, financial impartation. God, the struggle is no more. It was real, but it's done. God's blessings are coming. Doors are opening. And favor shall follow you all the days of your life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. You ready, Cody? You need some financial breakthrough? to receive it in Jesus' name. Or if today's the day, it changes in Jesus' name. Give me some more, brother. Hallelujah. Financial breakthrough, financial increase in Jesus' name. 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 Colin, you ready? Financial breakthrough, financial impartation. The financial struggle is over in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, y'all. Keep praising. Let's pray louder than we gonna pray for the last few. Let's go. Hallelujah. Financial breakthrough. Financial impartation. God said, I'm bringing divine order into your heart. I'm bringing divine connections into your life. I'm opening up doors that no man can shut. In Jesus' name. Finances are about to flow. Your ladder shall be greater than the former. In Jesus' name, the best is yet to come. Financial breakthrough. Financial impartation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Name. In Jesus' name. Come on, y'all. Praise him. Come on, y'all. Praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You ready, Cody? You need some financial breakthrough? In Jesus' name, we declare financial breakthrough. The struggle is over. Blessings and favor are coming. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Financial breakthrough. God, I declare over this family, over the way, over Brandon right now. In the name of Jesus. Financial breakthrough. Financial Financial favor in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, 
in Jesus' name. Financial breakthrough. Financial breakthrough. Financial breakthrough. Financial increase in Jesus' name. Financial increase. Financial breakthrough in Jesus' name. You ready, my man? You want some new shoes? You want some new clothes? Hey, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want some new toys. I want some new books. Take financial increase and come my way. Hey, take financial increase and come my way. Lift your hands right now. Financial increase is coming your way. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You ready, girl? Financial increase is coming for you, baby. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. John, hallelujah. Father, give me some more for y'all. Hallelujah. Financial, you need financial increase. You need financial blessing, brother. In Jesus' name, it's coming. Financial breakthrough. Financial increase. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Financial breakthrough. Financial increase. The struggle is over. God's moving upon you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Financial increase. Financial breakthrough. Financial increase. Financial breakthrough, man of God. Here it is. 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 All right, Elder Hart. Financial breakthrough. Financial increase. Financial favor. Financial increase. Financial favor. Financial increase. Financial favor in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now give the Lord some prayer. Mia. 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 Hallelujah. Financial increase. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Financial increase. Financial favor. In Jesus' name. I declare it. Receive it right now. No more struggle. No more struggle. The Lord is moving. In Jesus' name. 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 Come on, y'all. Praise him. Come on, y'all. Praise him. Come on, y'all. Praise him. Mom, get up. Mom, get up here. Mom, get up here. Pastor Austin, get up here. In the name of Jesus. Financial increase. Financial favor in Jesus' name. Financial Mom, come here. Pastor Austin, come here. Pastor Rihanna, come here. Adam Holly, come here. Hallelujah. Right now. Mia, come here. Mia, come here. Y'all going to pray over me right now. I need financial increase. I need financial favor. In Jesus' name. 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 Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now give the Lord some praise in here. Give the Lord some praise. Just sit down right here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Woo. Hallelujah. Lift your hands up right now. Now actually grab hand with the person next to you. Grab hands with the person next to you. As I pray for you, I want you to pray for them. Father God, I come to you, God. And I thank you for this service. And God, I thank you for what you've poured into us today. And let us not go back in Jesus' name. We declare, Father God, we are moving, Father God, from barely getting by to more than enough, God. We will not go back to the way it will used to be. Poverty mentality, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Barely getting by mentality, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Impoverishment, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Lord, and we declare we are blessed and highly favored. We are blessed coming and we are blessed going. We are going to the land full of milk and honey. We have more than enough, Father God. You rebuke to devour for our sake. God, and today we will never be the same in Jesus' name. Now give the Lord some mighty praise right now. Give the Lord some mighty praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. I know the time is late, but you know what? I wouldn't have missed on this for nothing in the world. Amen. Well, so what? We went 15 minutes over. Big deal. What we experienced in here is what God wants for us. And some of you visitors may say, Do you, is this like this every week? Usually. Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's normally how it is. Because we got favor on us and we're going to another level. Amen. Today. Amen. All right. Y'all ready to take up the tithe and the offering today? Are y'all ready to take up the tithe and the offering? Need your note? Hallelujah. Let me get the book. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Your book. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a service. What a service. I was sitting there going, oh, I need to be in this every 